you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through all of the decorating. So we have done the bar cart, some of the living room, the fireplace is going. It is chilly. I'm gonna put on my Valentine's Day socks and get cozy with you guys. I need to do the kitchen. All of the cleaning, all the decorating. Got my little squishmallows here. So I'm gonna set you down for two seconds and put on my socks. I have a feeling that someone is gonna come say, hi, Carl. Is that you that's coming to say hello because the camera is on? Hi, hello, what a surprise. You are a star, you love the camera. So I'm gonna put on my little, these are like fuzzy slipper socks and I'm gonna go into the kitchen and set up the tiered trays and all of the kitchen decor. I did a little bit of, do you really have to be right there? For real? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's yeah, we're not we're not playing right now. <laughs> so I have a couple of DIYs left to do. I want to <laughs> I want to show you guys um, this one thing that's gonna go perfectly in the kitchen. So I want to show you me doing that, but hopefully it works out because I've never DIY'd this before. So I hope I can do it. And then I'm looking at another DIY. I bought a gumball machine because I saw that a bunch of people had like these super cute pastel gumball <laughs> gumball machines that they got from Target, I think it was, and people were DIYing themselves. And I was like, I could do that. So I bought a, I, I'm gonna stop looking at it, I'm gonna show it to you. I got a double bubble gumball machine. And this was the other DIY that I had done, by the way, in another video. So this is the remnants of all of the V-Day decorations. So this is the gumball machine. Hopefully there's actually a cute front to it. Like there's supposed to be a, yeah. Let's take this apart. This will be, this will be a part of it because this is gonna go in the kitchen. I have a, a couple of candies left over and I was gonna paint these like candy hearts that are from Michael's. So the bar cart is done and it looks phenomenal. And uh, this is literally like I should have filmed Andre. He was, he came down and he was like, I was just watching your video and I saw that on tier number two of the bar cart, there's candy. <laughs> have at it. So it looks super good. I'm really, really happy with it. So if you didn't see that, I can link this video down below. It's probably one of the most recent videos that's posted at this point. I love the garland. I'm obsessed with the rubber duckies. I love it. I've got some champagne and everything. A lot of you guys were asking about where the sparkly bottle is from. I got it at our local liquor store. I didn't get it actually. Andre's mom got it for me, but we have a gold one that I got at our local liquor store. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. I'm just finishing up breakfast we order we uber eat star breakfast as per usual and this just came in also so we're fueled Andrea was like why'd you get the one that says text me I'm like it was the pink one the, and the other one said weirder things I thought it was cute it's like don't call me text me I thought it was adorable and they sent some little some little heart balloons so I'm gonna blow up the balloons so this is what I've got going on so far in the kitchen here got a little candle going super cute but I have a ton of mugs over there, a ton of DIY projects to do. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. All right, let's jump into this. So I grabbed my cuppy and I made my way over to the kitchen where I kicked things off with the main tiered tray. So this is the first tiered tray I ever bought. I love it. By the way, I will link absolutely everything that I share with you on my Like to Know It. If you don't have the Like to Know It app, download it or you can use the mobile version or the desktop version by just clicking the link below and it will literally show you every single thing that I share in my videos and on my posts on Instagram. So I thought it'd be really cute to use the canister but use the toppers from the mugs. So I did that, kind of switched things up. I love the candy hearts themed and I have a bunch of red and white pieces. So I'm gonna take you through that. But first I filled up my nebulizer diffuser with a little bit of water as well as some oil. So the oil is actually the Grand Floridian scent and I got that oil in Disney Springs at the co-op store. So good. So that way the kitchen kind of smells nice. I've got some Disney sugar cubes in the creamer dispenser and then I just kind of arranged the picks and sticks as well as the little heart-shaped balloons which turned out really well. I also have this tea container that I got at David's Tea. I have a couple of different colors of it and they look like candy hearts so that worked out really well and I also have this tea steeper that I got at David's Tea. So everything was like pink and purple and red themed with a little touch of Disney in there. That little succulent, succulent is actually a Minnie Mouse and that went really well with the tiny little mug which has sprinkles of Mickey Mouse in there. So a little bit of Disney magic on the tiered tray. And I also have the little sign that I got at Michael's, which turned out really well. I originally thought it was too small, but it's perfect for a little tiered tray. 
with some little miniature macaroons and some straws, and we will zhuzh that up in a couple of minutes, but this was the beginning of the first tiered tray, which was perfection. I'm so happy with it. So right next to the tiered tray and right next to the coffee machine, I have this marble tray that is usually just a couple of canisters and different items. I wanted to make it tea themed, so I have this tea for one pot that is very Valentine's Day themed, and then the cup that goes with it that says tea is my love language and then I had these extra sprinkles that I'd gotten at Michael's but the container they came in was just a little baggy so I figured just dump them out into the tea container and I can use that as a as a little bowl to grab my sprinkles in the morning and then this spoon is from David's tea which I use to spoon in the loose leaf tea into the tea steeper I'm obsessed with this little smiley face mug it's so adorable and then this little tea steeper is just a pink leaf and then I grabbed just a heart from my DIY project that I thought was a really cute little add-on and then I needed a couple more pieces so I just grabbed the two other colors that I have in those tea holders so there's actually loose leaf tea in those and they were Valentine's Day themed this is the double bubble container that we're gonna DIY later I will, I will keep you posted on the progress of that. And then I just added in some straws. And this was my first DIY. It actually worked out, but it was so complicated. And I'm gonna take you through exactly how I made this. So this is a faux whip topper. You guys have heard me talk about these before, but I wanted to try and make my own. It's really not that crazy once you know how to make one, but I will say it was a lot more difficult than I thought that it would be, but it turned out so well. And I'm so happy with it and just the entire layout of the kitchen. So, okay. If you're gonna do this, you need to figure out which mug you're gonna use. So naturally I used a Ray Dunn mug and I just penciled around the base of what the whip topper would be. So I measured out the top of a Ray Dunn just with a piece of cardboard and then you need a cake piper. I think that's what it's called, like a cake icing piper. And you need speckle, lightweight speckle. And hopefully I'm saying that right. And first thing you need to do, and listen, this will turn out beautifully, but I did it wrong. You can use a base of speckle, let it dry. You need to have a base or this thing will flatten. So that's what kept happening to me was flattening. And the way that I got the ombre pink is I put in the white speckle and then I just poured a little bit of pink paint in there. Can we just laugh at my face right now and my level of focus? Yes, I was really into this. We can all laugh together. You guys, I was struggling so much with this and I don't know if you can tell my frustration. I was, I was determined. So this turned out really well, but within 30 minutes it had completely flattened. So you need to have a base. These were the little ornaments that I knew I wanted to put on it and I also wanted to put a little bit of glitter. I had some little striped straws that I wanted to stick in there and you can do just some sprinkles and whatnot. So I had the accoutrements, but the actual whipping was not working. This is how I got it to work. So I had to redo it. The ombre effect kind of left because I just scooped it all back into the piping. That's the good thing. You can It lasts a while, so scoop it back in. I created a little base of a cardboard little dome and then I just whipped around and then I added the little sprinkles with some tweezers one by one and I sprinkled on some glitter and it worked out so well now I'm gonna am I gonna rush to do another one no but I was determined because I really wanted to show you guys that it was possible so thank you for being my motivation so I only made one but I'm super happy with it okay moving on to the second tiered tray so I already had just shoved all of the other items onto the tiered tray they were not placed or anything so I took them off of the tiered tray and just laid them out on the counter so I could see what I was working with so same thing I had a bunch of Ray Dunn mugs I had a little couple of Disney touches and some pieces from Michael's as well as some little candy heart decorations yes I did a double take at the inside of that topper if if you are a Ray Dunn hunter you know why I'm laughing super interesting if not it's okay we can talk about it so I had a couple, this theme was really pink and red, so I wanted to do a couple of pink mugs. So I had the Candy Heart mug, which is my favorite one. Thank you, Kelly. She got it for me. And then I have the Sweet Heart mug, and then I got that one in Florida, actually. And then the It's an Add to Cart kind of day. I love that mug. So this is what I did with the extra little rubber ducky. I had some of those cinnamon hearts, and I put the little pink rubber ducky on top of it, and then it has Stupid Cupid mug. I had a couple of these heart ones, Better Together, and then I just kind of laid them out around the tiered tray. So this is something I didn't do last year. I have these little measuring cups. So I put them in there as well as the measuring spoons and it looked really cute as well as this little cute takeout container that I filled with the little felt hearts. And I also had a Minnie Mouse little ornament from Christmas, but it's very Valentine's Day themed so it worked quite well. And then I just used the extra mugs at the back of the tray 
And honestly, this tray holds a lot. So I will link this tray for you guys as well. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I just had gotten the black one at fall and it matches the kitchen. I filled any of the miniature little jars with extra candy hearts. I actually fill them first with a little bit of paper towel so I'm not using as much candy in there, just the top of it. I added a little red bow and then I just always toss in some straws as well as the tea steepers did a really cute little add on. And then that Mickey cookie was just the best little detail. So I put in a few sprinkles, added those spoons, some steepers, the balloons, the bow. I love the little detail of the measuring cups with the sprinkles in it. That's probably my favorite part. So it turned out really well. I'm super happy with the second tier tray. At this point, I need to have two tier trays because there's so much freaking stuff to put on it. And then I have the kettle right next to it. So I decided to continue that theme with the cinnamon hearts over on that first tier tray and it made it so much better. So I just filled up those little containers, added some little cut straws into them and that just added so much. So I sprinkled in some of the leftover sprinkles from the other tiered tray as well, put in a couple of cut straws in those as well. So these little marshmallow guys are so cute. I use them at Christmas and I use them at Valentine's Day. And I might even use them at Halloween, I'm not sure, but I'm so happy with it. It turned out so well. And I decided to do the same thing, <laughs> added one more little marshmallow guy on the tea tray. So I'm really happy. Everything is just as I wanted it. It took me a little bit, but I figured out. So I wanted to give you a little tour of everything. So this is the tea area, completely finalized with the little teapot and teacup and the little steepers. And then this is the tiered tray right next to it. I love these little candy heart bowls. This one says you and me. I have like an XOXO one, love bug, so adorable. And they come in a pack of six. And I just feel like the detail of the pink with the red turned out really well. And that whip topper is everything. I, if I had the patience, I would totally make a second one, but we're gonna start with one for now. But if you guys make a whip topper, please tag me on Instagram. I need to see it. So this is the one side of the kitchen and I'm so thrilled with it. And then this is the other side of the kitchen where I keep the kettle. So those little measuring cups are probably my favorite part as well as the rubber ducky. I love the rubber ducky. So they come in a pack of six at Michael's. I will link it down below. They are epic. And they were, I don't think they were even in the Valentine's day decoration section. I just love them. So they come in pink and in red. So I have them on the bar cart as well. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. Go check out the behind the scenes on Instagram. I link every single thing that I talk about on my Instagram. So it's super easy to shop on there if you want to look for stuff and make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you next time.